Hi scientist, it's Lauren from the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Today I wanted to do an at-home experiment inspired by one of my favorite carnivorous plant groups that we have at the garden, the Saracenia pitcher plants. Believe it or not, Georgia is home to several species of Saracenia pitcher plants. These carnivorous plants live in the marshes and swamps in our state. While these marshes and swamps have very wet soil, they also have very nutrient poor soil. And so pitcher plants and other carnivorous plants have to get the phosphorus and nitrogen that they need by catching and digesting insects. Saracenia pitcher plants use a passive trap to attract and trap their prey, meaning they don't have to move at all. Instead, they have things like ruffly leaves, bright color, and sweet scents to lure victims into their traps. How is this supposed to attract anything? Once inside those funnel-shaped leaves, most insects cannot escape. The pitcher plant leaves are lined with tiny hairs and also have really slippery edges so the insects keep falling back into the funnel. The pitcher plant then takes those bugs and turns them into kind of a bug juice. And uh, it's able to absorb that bug juice through its leaves and then those nutrients get absorbed through the rest of the plant. Actually, not too bad. Now, I don't have a pitcher plant and I don't live near a bog but I can still study pitcher plants by creating a bug trap similar to the pitcher plant's passive trap using a few household supplies. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go. Let's make a passive bug trap. You will need scissors, tape, plastic bottle, apple cider vinegar, water, and dish soap. Here's how to make your bug trap. Rinse the plastic bottle with water and let air dry. Look how clean it is! Get an adult to help you cut the top of the plastic bottle a couple of inches below the neck. Be careful. Go ahead and take the top off of the bottle too. You won't need it for this experiment. Make a solution of one part water and one part apple cider vinegar. Add a drop of dish soap. Exact measurements don't really matter much in this experiment. Just make sure that you add the same amount of water and apple cider vinegar to your solution. The dish soap will break up the surface tension of the solution so the insects can't just sit on top of the liquid. Pour the solution into the base of the plastic bottle. The bottle should be less than halfway full. Note that depending on the size of your bottle, you may or may not use all of the solution that you mixed. Invert the top of the plastic bottle and attach it to the solution filled base. Tape the top and base of the plastic bottle to seal the gaps and secure.
app is now ready to use. Let's test it out. Nicely done, scientists. Now that you have made your passive trap, you can test it out. I'm gonna place mine in my kitchen where I'm hopefully going to catch some fruit flies. Once you've tried it out for a couple of days, you should test other methods to make a passive trap or make this one better. What would happen if instead of apple cider vinegar, you used fruit or maybe even rotting fruit? What would happen if you had a different size bottle or a different color bottle? What if you added different colors to mimic textures and colors seen on real pitcher plants? Can you think of any other changes to make? Thanks for joining me today. Happy sciencing!